Hi, Susan here. Let's do another episode of Summer School, guys. We're going to talk about this and work ethic and what it takes to go to a fashion design school. And that's what's next. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping up summer school soon, and I wanted to talk about a few things and just um, to get you all started, whether you're going to go to a university or not, or work or learn online or YouTube or an uncredited or credited local school. Doesn't matter how you're going to be learning fashion design, this next subject is very important. But before I get to it, it's work ethic that I want to talk about. I want to talk about this. I did a Patreon piece just recently with my secret tips on converting a torso sloper, which is the front and back combining the front, the back, the skirt pieces into a woven two-piece sloper and for my patreon account we achieved this which is a knit or stretch top design coming from the woven sloper set that i have available so if you want to check that out check it out on my patreon account the information will be be below i hope to see you there and i'm making the sloper sets now fifty dollars $50 for the five piece sloper set. I've reduced it and I'm going to be throwing in the torso slopers if you say that you saw this video and you want all the pieces. Okay, let's talk about what I want to talk about today. Work ethic. The definition of work ethic is the principle that hard work is intrinsically virtuous or worthy of reward. So that means that hard work just equals reward okay not all the time but that besides that it is still important to have it i just was approached recently um out on the streets and someone was telling me when i told them i was a fashion designer and went to fit then they said oh my goodness fit is like the hardest school to get into you know what guys it was one of the hardest schools to get into even when i was going to school because of the sheer number of people trying to apply to get into the college there were two thousand applicants and you had less than three minutes to impress the judges yes you had to bring a portfolio that was very specific to what they wanted to see and you then you also had to be interviewed it is getting harder and harder because there are fewer really good schools out there because there's more online as well so i think that might be the difference but regardless of how you go about it i will say when i went to school and even today work ethic is probably the most important tool you're going to need to studying fashion design or pretty much any profession that you're going to be going into but hard work and discipline and good habits are really really essential i remember you know saying i had you know the all-nighters you're going to hear people say i had another all-nighter and that means you're up all night doing a project for your class the next day and whether you're doing that and you're working a full-time job and learning fashion design online regardless of how you're doing it you're gonna have to put aside and make some sacrifices in order to get to what you want I used to think that work ethic equaled enthusiasm or inspiration, but I don't see that anymore. If you're very inspired or you're very um, motivated or you're very um, driven to want to do something, work ethic usually goes hand in hand. It takes a little bit more diligence to have work ethic if you're not quite as inspired or your or your emotions are low or you're not just feeling it why am i talking about this well because i believe that having a good work ethic and being very structured about your time that you're going to be managing for your your course or your projects or your whatever you're doing that has to do with fashion or in life that you're going to make some sacrifices yeah i'm in here doing a youtube video guys and uh, i could be out in sunny florida enjoying the day but um there are certain things that you just have to have a discipline about and understand that your work ethic is probably one of the most important tools in your toolbox if you're going to go to fashion design school, whether you go to a university or not. 
So I just wanted to talk about that, guys. And I also wanted to ask you if you want me to do another YouTube Live. I did one not too long ago, well, a little while ago, and it was kind of traumatic because things were technically not working. But I think it's time to do another YouTube Live. If you guys want me to do that, let me know that in the comments below and I will set that up so that maybe I can have a dialogue with you guys and answer questions on the spot. So if you love this video, give it a thumbs up. Share this with your friends, share this with your colleagues, share it with people who are also trying to go to school and thinking about going to a university or not for fashion design. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.